in the woods today, L.A. discovered a charming little landmark. The Pet Cemetery. The whole town's been using this place for generations. Folks make a kind of ritual out of it. It's not some campfire story. I saw these in the trees up there. They're warnings. They fear that place. There's something up there. Something that dates way back. Something that brings things back. Cheers. I know what you're thinking of doing. But they don't come back the same. just emotionally drained. Mm -hmm. You guys go farther with this. <laughs> tell, tell me about the changes and how you felt, and without obviously giving any spoilers, how important was it to make it fresh and new and not just follow the same pattern? Well, it's one of the ironies of every film when it has something to do with re original source material is a lot of people say, don't change a thing. But if you did that, they'd be bored. Yes. So. Your job is to bring along the key elements to what makes it strong and then give it a new twist or give it a new perspective on what it is. You know, I think you know, the theme of death is obviously rather large in this movie. And when you think about it, every generation has a different relationship with death. And if you think about our culture, we have increasingly been trying to hide it, hide it, hide it, hide it, so that it's something that you rarely bring up into the foreground. And so this movie does not let up on you better look at death and you better not defy it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, these directors, I mean, I remember seeing Starry Eyes yeah. the first time and just being blown away. Yeah. What was your, how, did you know exactly that they, they, they need to make this movie? Did you, was that clear? No, I don't think you ever know that, and firstly, until you meet them. Um, but what I knew was we had seen, I'm gonna guess 40 films looking for directors. Wow. And there was a sea of sameness until we saw Starry Eyes, which is original, surreal, intense, and really importantly, a central character that you watch their devolution. And that's what happens to Lewis in this movie. It's a yeah. devolution, you know? So you knew they would understand the objective. And then when we met them, they are giant Stephen King. I mean, they're obsessive Stephen King fans. So uh, they understood what we were trying to do. Uh, and, and in fact, pushed us a little bit further in, in places. So it was really a good marriage very quickly. Were there, like, one of the images that I really appreciate in the mm -hmm. film is the way they, they set up a, you know, it's right there. They have the, the kids have the masks yeah. in there, and you see it in the trailer. Yeah. What was the conversation like to bring that into the mix? Because I don't remember if that was in the book, or I don't think it was, correct? It is, uh, I'll tell you, it was a creepy idea, is what it was. And once, <laughs> once it, it, it came into our discussion, it kept, it just kept having to be in the film. But the hardest part of it actually was making the masks correctly, uh -huh. because they had to have a sort of a homemade quality. But if you made it too homemade, they looked bad. Yeah. So it was a very long process to pick, funny enough, to pick those masks. A lot of trial and error went into it because you had to feel like, oh, maybe the kids or maybe the parents of the kids had made these things. And also because it's a tradition, it felt like they shouldn't be brand new out of the store. Sure. So it, it was a process of evolution to get to that. But the, I remember when somebody asked me, you know, what was one of the strangest days? That day when they started walking through the forest and we were in this, you know, darker green enclosed thing and then you watch this really surreal procession walk by we knew right then it was going to end up in the film too because it just had that what is going on feeling well i love the uh, description of it in the film they the yeah. uh yeah it's a parade but not so happy yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. what's well, a procession yeah <laughs> well it, it ain't so happy yeah no it's not yeah. <laughs> We have a second chance. Sometimes dead is better. 